picking up bits and pieces. Um, everything's kind of everywhere. So these are chayote tendrils. They're called pipinola, actually. Uh, you can um, pick one off. This can go in salad and eat this raw. Nice. Hmm. It's kind of like a squash blossom, I would say. We'll do that. You want the... Uh, Head, if you want to jump over here? Sure. Let's grab a bunch of these because we don't have much salad. But you kind of want them to be pretty tender. Right, like from here up? Yeah. Okay. So you grab the tender, the tender parts. And you can feel them too. Okay. Mm. Any flowering part like that? Sure. No? Okay. Yes! Look at that. <laughs> There's like five of them over there. I know. <laughs> nice. They're huge too. Awesome. So these chayote tendrils could be part of your... Chayote tendrils could be part of your uh, raw salad. Actually, it's also a good pre it's pretty good sautéed as well. These guys seem pretty, they're, they're growing pretty well, it looks like. So let's just take a bunch of them, because um, let's make a big freaking salad. <laughs> Kevin, if you want to take some too. Yeah, what plant is this? This is hibiscus. Cool. Cranberry hibiscus, I believe. Spinach. Oh, oh. right, okay. It's, um, you know that name. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you kind of want to pick them. The bigger they are, they get the slimier they get. So you kind of want to pick them. This is this, this actually might be too big, anyways. Hmm. So you kind of want them smaller, right? Like the small. Cool. Pretty tiny. Not the big one, but uh, yeah, the small this one. one's rotten. That one's rotten. There's uh, one up, up over your head. Cool. Uh, These green green onions, they'll grow back. So I just snip them. Basil. Mm -hmm. so you kind of want to try to be delicate with them when you pick them. Mm. They're sensitive. <laughs> this is the basil that is kind of wild around here. I don't really like these because they're like um, hard and kind of rough texture. Gotta work with what you got, I guess. <laughs> I do have clippers. <laughs> we could we could just pretend that you don't. <laughs> Like the chayote, you can use these ends. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe okay. the small ones. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> really small ones. <laughs> so we got some celery here. They're pretty big. So pr pretty much just take the biggest stems from the bottom. Um, I don't actually need the leaves. leaves. <laughs> so this is a uh, type of bok choy. Bok choy. Yay. Nice. Bok choy. Well, there's another one that we have over there that grows much bigger, but this, these ones don't really grow that much bigger, as you can see, because they're already getting eaten. So you just harvest the whole thing at that point. So I'm just gonna harvest the whole thing at this point. Cool. Although this might, this, the, although this guy might grow a little bit more, but this guy looks pretty, pretty ready. Oh look. Got a beet right here. Nice. Um, the way I usually tell things if they want to, you can kind of tell if they want to get picked. <laughs> they're kind of like halfway out. Peeking out. So they're like, yeah, take me. This is a big bok choy. Let's harvest him. What are we cooking for today, Iris? 
What is gonna be? Cassava balls. Some bigger cassava balls. All right. All right. Started the index today, Sabrina and I, um, or like 
officially started writing things down. Those of you who don't know, um, we're coming up with, uh, or rather, we're identifying all the things that we have growing on the farm and just mm -hmm. like writing a brief description of it, writing the common name and the scientific name, a mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. bunch of other things, mm -hmm. like a <laughs> bunch of other things that we came up with that we could potentially include. And I want to run it by you guys. Like, if is this too much information? Because we started getting excited and we were like, well, yeah. we can talk about like whether or not it can self propagate and like how best to harvest it, how to tell when the fruit is right, For what's sure. the ideal habitat. Like, yeah, that's so cool. many directions we can go with that. Totally. Yeah, nice. um, I think fill it out as much as anything that's relevant, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then fun Definitely facts. Medicinal, okay. medicinal, medicinal <laughs> properties, For um, sure. yeah. other okay. uses, if it's a fiber, if it's, you know. Cool. Regardless, too, like that's just going to reinforce so much in, in both of your heads. So. I already know so much about breadfruit that I have no, <laughs> <laughs> no idea about. Yeah. And, and, and don't overlook weeds, too. Yeah. Like especially the especially the really noxious ones, like the ones that really give us a problem. Like, oh, I hate desmodium or whatever it is. But like, well, did you know that it makes a great hair tie or whatever it might be? I, I think uh, the weeds are really something that's overlooked. You know, you, there's uh, 500 books on breadfruit, not that many books on you know, cane grass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe Hona Hona has cool use. I'm sure. Yeah, she actually is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cool, so great. Great to hear. But thank you to Misha on that one, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Like, yeah, yeah, he's like, I'm tired of this fucking mud. And <laughs> I was like, shit, well, maybe we'll take a look at that today. We want to make some mulch mm -hmm. anyway, so. Was it was pretty cool how that manifested just yeah, off of him right. saying that and then just was yeah. kind of like you looking at it's it like, oh like, and you're a lumberjack and then <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it was so productive man actually yeah. Yeah. that was cool yeah I don't know if you I don't know if you remember last time you should say that if he was creating too much mud he did his own he did his own He's lumberjack own action <laughs> <laughs> with that tree yeah it was very creative for me he did. <laughs> <laughs> better, better to get it done before he gets reactive with that <laughs> so, uh, boy, it's a, it's a mess. Misha's got, Misha's got a lot of skills, but arborism isn't probably his top skill. Okay. Thank you guys very much for your attention and time. Yeah.